So advanced topography allows you to change the uh, look and appearance of text and characters in your design beyond what you'd be able to achieve from the context toolbar. Uh, for instance, uh, on the context toolbar, you could apply a bold, italic, and different other uh, font attributes. But with topography, you go beyond that and you start to apply more ornate uh, appearances to different characters to add a little bit more interest to your text. So in this exa example here, we have this affinity text here. And, and this is just at the moment, um, just adopting the font uh, Bon Bon Regular. And it's just a regular uh, font attribute assigned to it. So there's nothing special happening here. So if I, with my uh, frame text tool selected and the text context toolbar showing, if we just come along here to these three options at the end, we have uh, character formatting, paragraph formatting, and then important typography. And if I just select that, we'll bring up a whole series of different typographic controls. Incidentally, you can access this typography panel from uh, Show Typography on the text menu. So what this means is that we can, with the insertion uh, point on the text, which means that we can apply this to all of the text in the frame text uh, box. We can cycle between different options here and just switch on uh, different alternates, stylistic alternates, swashes, and different capital uh, types. So I'll just do that right now. So if we want a contextual alternate on the affinity text, we can enable that and you can see the whole text being affected there. So some characters within that whole text will have more um, uh, typographic uh, changes associated with them and others won't. For instance, uh, the Fs and the Y there seem to be affected the most with this, the way this font has been designed by the font designer. Um, we can try stylistic alternates. So I'll just enable that. And you get some uh, flourishes at the top and the bottom. Switch that one off. We can try swashes here. And you can see some very uh, grand swashes here on the Y and on the F as well. And we can also cycle through some capital controls here. So we can have all caps, caps set to small caps, small caps all small caps in italic and titling there. So if we go back to normal um, and we keep the panel open. Now, what we'll also be able to do is to be selective about how we apply typography. So for instance, we want to select the F here and we can then apply, say, a, sw a swash to the Fs and not to any of the other characters. If we want to do the same with the Y. We can apply a swash or a stylistic alternate. And incidentally, the frame text that you see down here, you can apply the same to this as well. So if you just select all of the text in here, and we can then just jump through and you can see the characters changing. I think you can see there, you can see the G's changing on designer as you jump through. So it's, it's not just exclusively for art text. Uh, one other thing I want to show you is uh, if we go to the character panel in this, in this instance, and we go to some of the options on here. Uh, we consider these to be typographic controls, so we could um, just expand the kerning on there, just to push the F out a little bit, I'll just move it over to one side. And the T and the Y there are a little bit tight, so I can expand the kerning on there, just to push that out to there. And generally, if I want to increase the tracking. I can just pull the text out a little bit further.